Good morning guys, hello and welcome back to another Explore. Today we're going on a bit of a mission. We're going on a train for four hours up to a place called Uckfield, which I've never been to before. Um, but we're actually doing a collab today with uh, Lost With Lou, who's a friend of Shawnee's. Well yeah, we're doing a collab with him today and we've got a few places planned, uh, including a farm and someone that apparently has arcade machines. Uh, we're gonna go and jump on the train in a second. It's about six in the morning. <laughs> ridiculously early and uh, we've got a nice long four hour journey ahead of us. Haven't had any breakfast because no shops are open and I didn't have time before I left. Haven't got a drink with me because no shops are open, <laughs> didn't have a time before we left. So this should be fun. <laughs> no, I'm sure it will. It'll be really fun, I'm sure it will. We're also supposed to be meeting Neil up there as well but I'm not sure if he's coming or not because last night he went to Warren's and I know that he's about two hours away from the location. So it depends on whether he's going to be exploring with Warren or come up with me today but we'll see what happens. You know, whatever happens, happens. So going to Uggfield was actually the original plan and that was what I was going to be doing. Um, but actually we realized that on the way to Uggfield, which was actually really, really far away, there is a place called Red Hill, which has a really well-known earthworks. And seeing as Neil was like slightly closer to that than he was to Uggfield, it was quite a mission for him to come to Uggfield. We changed our plans and decided to go to Red Hill instead. Um, so you'll find that out later on, but just, just so that at the beginning of the video, when I'm talking about Uggfield and about what we're gonna do, you don't get confused, because later on we actually do something completely different. So I'll we'll just jump in right now and let you guys know um, that obviously that changes. Enjoy. Result. There's a burger van right next to the train station. Yum. Mm -hmm. This is HM. This train is for Portsmouth Harbour. The next station is Portsmouth. Okay, so update from the last time you saw me, uh, obviously I was on a train. I've now stopped at a place called Red Hill, uh, which is not my final destination, as you guys know, uh, because we've changed plan. <laughs> Basically, we're meeting Neil here. We're gonna be going to a uh, local earthworks, uh, which is a pretty cool site. We've, I've seen it done by a few people. I'm gonna go do that one first, and then we're gonna go off somewhere else. But for now, the sun's kind of gone away, and it's looking like there's gonna be some rain soon. That was kind of expected. I thought there would be rain, but it's not gonna put us off. We're still gonna have a great day. Can't wait. So yeah, just literally in the middle of Red Hill at the moment on my own. I've gotta go and meet uh, Neil at the train station in a second. So I'm gonna head off and do that. Um, and then we'll be meeting up with uh, Lou as well. So um, he's driving down, but apparently there's lots of traffic as well. So it's gonna be a bit all over the place today, but I'm sure it'll come together in the end. It always does. So let's go. Right guys, so we have met up with Neil now. Yo! <laughs> I haven't told you guys yet what we're doing. I kind of told you a little bit, but not exactly. Today we're going to be doing something that's definitely going to take me, of all people, out of my comfort zone. And if you guys, you should know from the Portland video, <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. I hate heights. Um, and we're going somewhere that I have to climb, and it's pretty sketchy as well. So uh, yeah. I'm going to sit on the ground and, and film from the bottom, and uh, Neil's going to... He's Neil's not. Gonna... No, you are coming up. <laughs> And you're going to be in front of me because I'm going to be just as scared as you, all right? <laughs> it's, well, it's, not quite. It, it's pretty high. It's pretty sketchy. Even like seasoned climbers would be a bit kind of like apprehensive. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm really not looking forward to this. I am, and I'm not. Like if I could do it, it'd be amazing. But and it's going to be really cool, like views from the top. But I'm, I'm pretty, pretty scared to be honest. But we're waiting for uh, Lost Blue at the moment. He's driving up. He's stuck in traffic, so hopefully he'll be here soon. When he is, I'll catch back up. Catch back up, you. <laughs> We're just waiting for Lost with Lou, but he's currently stuck in traffic, so hopefully he'll be here very soon. I see him! 
<laughs> so guys, we've met with our tour guide for the day. This is Lost But Lou. Hello. And uh, he's gonna show us around the place. It, it's funny because yesterday I watched um, Off Soon Explorers do this place and they had a video up and I said to them, oh, I really should do this place. Oh, well, I don't know why I haven't. Oh wait, yeah, that's it, because I'm scared of heights. <laughs> and then the next day I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Guys, look at this. This is fucking huge. I don't think this is the biggest site I've done so far. It's all right, the stairs. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> so guys, I want you to comment now, down below, before I do this, do you think I'm going to make it to the top? I don't think I'm going to make it to the top, <laughs> I'll be honest, I'll be totally honest, this is absolutely huge, but if by some miracle you think I am, write the comments down below. So guys, we've uh, we've got ready. We're GoPro'd up. I, I I'm actually petrified. I honestly am petrified. This is an impressive building, but it scares the crap out of me. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't expect amazing things. I might not get very high. I'm just gonna say that right now because like I know you guys might be expecting all these epic videos. You see other people climbing right to the top. I just want to say it might not be me, <laughs> but hopefully the video is entertaining anyway. But it's a lovely day for this, beautiful. Um, even though we've had a little bit of rain, uh, it keeps sort of coming and going. I'm hoping it's gonna hold off because if it starts raining more up there, it might get pretty slippy. So um, yeah, but anyway, let's go and see what we can find. Guys, this looks incredible. Well, this is definitely picture central. Damn. Jeez. Look at that, guys. The picture opportunities here are amazing. I've only walked into this tiny little bit so far away. I'm like, cinematics, everything. Cinematics, everywhere. <laughs> you know, pretty much like our photographers are. I was like, yeah, we need to photograph everything. I'm not exactly that, but with cinematics. So uh, expect a lot of cinematics, a lot of like music in the background and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool site. I'm gonna quickly like put this down there and uh, put some stuff in my pocket because I've got my like, wallet and my phone and that. I don't want to get wrecked. And I need to get my light out as well because there's some bits behind me that are quite dark. Um, so yeah, it does look cool. I want to try and stick together because it, it's, it, again, it looks amazing, but it's a very dangerous site, very dangerous. I think there's another way up. Look at that. Yeah. The rain's just dripping through. So guys, it was really sunny a minute ago, and now the rain has come. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there's wind whipping through and I can feel bits of rain on my face. We are inside, but obviously the roof's got quite a few holes in it. But it's been a weird day, hasn't it? It's been a really strange day. Like the rain's uh, been... Sunny, then raining. Yeah. Sunny, rain, it just, yeah, it is. It, it's been really it's odd. Wind. Like we had rain, it was probably tipping it down, and then literally 10 seconds later, there was blue skies and sun. It's weird. So I want to go outside and check out this uh, like central courtyard bit, even though it's raining. <laughs> it's pretty muddy as well. So this would have been some kind of warehouse, I'm guessing. But obviously, there's no panels left on these uh, on these walls. How is that? <laughs> That's some kind of funnel with um, whatever he had in there just pouring out and it's all gone rock solid, but it's like a giant ice cream. I'll tell you what though, the whole building is making some creepy noises like that one there. <laughs> I hate creepy noises, especially like when you've got so much stuff hanging down. I'll give it this, the place is incredibly impressive inside, but I'm not sure I'm going to be climbing. All the creaky noises are really freaky. I want to, I do, I really want to, but... Jesus. 
Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, we are up. Sort of. <laughs> There's another, so you can get up there as well. No. Yeah. Have a ladder. Yeah, how far? Fucking birds. How far was he though? He was about this height. He wasn't, but obviously. I was more comfortable on that level there than I am this one. Oh, oh my god, that bends. I can see it moving. <laughs> That's the way over to him. Oh. Holy fuck. Been up there? Yeah, but not everyone's that my, my size. That's the thing. Oh, jeez, that's horrible. You're good I'm going back down. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Fuck. I know that you guys want to see like me get to the top. I know that I want to get to the top, <laughs> but I honestly find it so difficult. I, I've have had a fear of heights for a long time and it's like a chronic fear of heights it's not just like you know step two steps up a ladder and you're like oh my god i want i want you guys to understand like i really i really am trying like i really am trying it pisses me off that i can't do it because this is an epic site it's one of the best sites you know in the uk with like <laughs> amazing views at the top and i can't get to them it isn't something you can just switch on and off like you you get a certain way up and it builds and builds and builds and builds. it's unbearable and you have to leave you have to go uh, like as you guys were seeing on the GoPro when I went up these like wooden stairs when we first went up it was fine like I walked up them fine they felt a bit wobbly but I wasn't that bothered about them but when I came down even though I'd already walked up them once I know that they're okay I was clinging to them because that fear is there now it's, it's there it's present and you have to like address it and it, it just causes issues and it's so annoying because I, I really want to do these things but I'm not there yet Hopefully one day I'll get there, but I'm not there yet. But anyway, they've gone upstairs. Um, they're gonna go and see if they can get some epic footage. Uh, I'm gonna go and look around the outside because I'm pretty sure we can walk around the building, I think, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna have a look around because I'm sure there's other parts I haven't seen yet. Um, so I'm gonna do that at ground level where I feel safe. I'm sorry guys, I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, so let's look around. I'll tell you what, the weather's playing tricks on us today as well because the uh, the sun is now back out again. <laughs> oh look, it's, uh, that's like a smoke grenade. Someone's let off, obviously, some, take some Instagram pictures, probably. Look at this, gorgeous sun out again now. Blue skies, no doubt in half an hour again, it'll start raining though. So their target is to get up onto this bit here, which is like the highest point. But there's a whole back section to this place as well, which I haven't looked at yet. I really wish we brought a drone with this because this would have some epic shots. Unfortunately, we haven't. In case you didn't know, Neil hasn't got one anymore. He's fell in the sea. Um, <laughs> sorry, Neil. I, I still laugh at that. Um, and my one is, I've got Phantom 3, so it's like huge. It's really, really big and it's really hard to carry around. It's actually got its own separate bag, which is like twice the size of a normal bag. 
Um, and obviously I came on the train today, so it's just like extra stuff to carry. I haven't even brought my G7 with me because that's a heavy camera. I've bought uh, the G7X and my GoPro because it's just a lot lighter, a lot easier. But this side definitely, it would have been an incredible one to have a drone flying around, I can tell you that now. Can you police sirens now? Hopefully they're not for us. Hopefully. I've been stood here for the last 15 minutes just being completely silent and uh, this place is really tranquil and then the wind picks up and it gets really noisy. Like This place is so noisy uh, that everything just shakes in the wind. I kind of want to give the climbing a go again, but like I've left it too late now, but I kind of want to give it a go. Fuck it. Right, so that is that place explored. Obviously I couldn't get to the whole place because of my fear of heights, I apologize for that, but hopefully you understand and hopefully you saw that I did the best I possibly could. I really tried. Uh, I just, you know, it scares the crap out of me. Maybe one day we'll be back. Maybe one day I'll be able to get over this fear and I'll be able to go all the way to the top. But if you want to see that for now, please go check out the other two guys' videos. Uh, they did get to the top, so you'll be able to see all of that. Their links will be in the description and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. I think we're going to leave because we just had a dog coming to the security area and we do not want to get caught by a dog.